Hey everyone, this is Christian Buckley doing another MVP Buzz Chat, and I'm talking today with Tomash. Hello. Hi. Hi, my name is Tomash. Hi. Well, yeah, for folks that don't know you, who are you, where are you, and what do you do? Okay, so my name is Tomasz Kristun. I am coming from Europe, Slovenia, the capital Ljubljana. Um, I've been MVP for six, seven years now, um, and I'm in the data platform, so SQL Server databases, stuff like that. This is what I essentially do for the MVP, but otherwise I do love machine learning and, and statistics and data analysis. So this is where, you know, really my heart goes boom, 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 boom. <laughs> there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of exciting things that are happening in that space and kind of your world is bleeding over into the collaboration space because most of the newest features over in the collaboration stack. So within teams and SharePoint and all those are all AI driven are all, you know, BI tools and other just mm -hmm. cool automation stuff that's happening. There's a lot happening in the space. Yeah, definitely. It's going to be democratized, you know, so it's, it, if you probably have heard of the dem democratization of um, artificial intelligence or machine learning. So this is, you know, the trend that we will see in the next years, you know, following more and more. So collaboration with different, um, I don't know, algorithms, machine learning algorithms with tools like Teams or, or Office and stuff like that. So this is going to be a huge wave in, in the next couple of years, yes. Yeah, no, I, I, I'm actually going through now and and uh, a class, uh, Power Platform class. And awesome. I awesome. built my first chat bot last night. And so playing around with a bunch of different tools. Yeah, not, not my space. I'm a marketing guy and the collaboration technology <laughs> guy. Uh, but going through, I think it's important to just understand, even though I'll never go and I may build some small things for myself, for my team at work. I mean, it's, I'm not going to go pursue a career within that space, although there's a, a ton of uh, just so many examples of mm. you know, opportunities that are around the power platform space. But that space in general, I always like to point out, so my, my middle son, much smarter human being than I am, um, about to graduate in, with his degree in atmospheric sciences, I tried to encourage him, I said, to, to, um, to do like a minor in data science. And at the end, I asked him, he's about to graduate in December. I said, what, what's your regret about this? Is I, you know, I would have, if I could do it over again, I would have done more around data science. I'm like, I told you, awesome. I told awesome. you. He picked up R and Python. And I said, those are the skills. Being able, to, being able to go in there and read and manipulate the data mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. critical across, you know, he, he's in weather science, super oh. exciting stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's, you know, yeah. But this is the future as well. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, very much so. But I mean, every industry uh, mm -hmm. across mm -hmm. multiple roles, there is a need for that. Every company is hiring data mm -hmm. scientists that have these mm -hmm. kinds of skills. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, 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 you know, it, it doesn't stop with the weather. It, it just goes beyond that, you know. So, so for instance, you would have like um, village analysis, data analysis, for instance, and you would have bunch of software, bunch of hardware, you know, just to go through the landscape of different areas in the world, just to have analysis of how people are building houses, how they are living and stuff like that. And then you combine that with loads of different data, like weather data, like, you know, geo data or economical data, and you have, you know, so this is really the future, you know, collaboration be between different, you know, platforms, people, mindsets and, and and bringing everything together with machine learning it's it's going to be super well and there's a reason why microsoft now and with viva is another great example of that a lot yeah. of what viva is is it's really l tools that are looking at different aspects of the employee experience mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. looking at the data and trying to understand you know why are people doing this what are the patterns yes. the behaviors of collaboration in each of the different workloads and how can we, like, where is it working? Why is it working? How can we replicate that? How can we get better at when we onboard new employees so that they are more effective, yeah. you know, quicker within that yeah. process? That's what yeah. so much of it about. It's all about data science underneath it all. Sure. Yeah. And, and you know, human resources and, and an analysis surrounding human resources, it's, it's, it's again, it's emerging, um, you know, I'm not going to say industry, but, you know, 
since we have so much data lying around, you know, we can, as, as you mentioned, Microsoft Viva, this is a perfect example where you see what people have felt, you know, what is their well-being, you know, how they are proceeding with, with the projects. When you combine everything that, I mean, again, you can see why my project failed. Maybe because this person was disengaged or, or maybe he wasn't happy or she wasn't happy. You know, all this is just put together and, and you have, you know, a lot of insights explained. So that's yeah. the beauty. Yeah. yeah. Well, Tomas, how did you get into this space? Kind of what, what's your, what's your background? So yeah, probably faculty just, you know, pushed me in this direction. So, mm. you know, statistics and mathematics. Um, and essentially I, I felt, you know, that hmm, there's interesting, especially if you can put data and, and programming together and, and sort of applied it to some, to something. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and this is how I ended basically just in this area of statistics. Yeah. Well, it's very cool. And what was your path to becoming an MVP? What was that journey like? Yeah, so um, I've been um, in community long before become hmm. b b before I became an MVP. Um, so I was in, you know um, doing local community user meetups, and then we started uh, the SQL Saturdays. Um, I helped helped there, and then we also did the, the Python um, user group. And then yeah, six seven years ago, I sort of you know gotten an email on the first of I think it was first of October. 2015, 16, I got, wow, wow. <laughs> and yeah, this is essentially how I became, you know, just, you know, slowly, wh whatever you learn, you slowly give back to community, try mm -hmm. to, you know, persuade younger people, younger generations, talk to students, you know, talk to people who want to learn something new. So basically just sort of, you know, keep people together and, and sort of, you know, just energize them with the, with the knowledge or the ideas. Yeah. It, you brought up one of my favorite things. I, so I know SQL Saturdays were huge. Uh, yeah. The SharePoint people kind of stole the idea and yeah, went and built that out there. Uh, yeah. And I, I know that there's still a lot of those that are still called SharePoint Saturdays, SQL Saturdays, Collab Days. There's yes. Microsoft has now Community Days, different things out there. But that is a great way for people that thinking, hey, you know, I want to do more. I want to get more involved is. Because uh, as a, uh, one of the co-organizers co of our formerly SharePoint Saturday Utah event, awesome. like we love it when people step forward and say, hey, I'd love to help and be like, hey, yeah, there, uh, there's uh, no shortage of stuff to do. We'd love mm -hmm. to get people involved that way. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. And I, myself, I've been for the first time in um, Collab Days last year in Germany. So it was not just mm -hmm. a year ago. Um, and it was a huge event, you know, you know, keeping in mind it was still a COVID, you know, tough time. Um, and there was like 2,000, 3,000 people all over the world just flying into Düsseldorf, Germany, um, collab days. And I've seen for the first time that people are developing, you know, you know, small snippets applications for teams, for, for office, for, I don't know, and, and, and just, you know, bringing together again and data science and, and all those little devices for teams and stuff like that. It's just amazing. Yeah. So, so I was so happy that, you know, those worlds should collide much more often. <laughs> yeah. Harder. Yeah. Well, I, and we're going to see, I, I, it's exciting to see um, events starting to pick back up again. Yeah. One of the things that I, I, I keep asking friends that are participating in events around the world, I had friends that just participated in the, uh, the AOS uh, Singapore and Malaysia events. And so my first questions are like, you know, are people showing up or, you know, what, yeah, what yeah. kind of, what were the best, you know, the, the, the most, uh, uh, the biggest uh, uh, turnout for sessions? Like what are, what are people interested in hearing about? Uh, mm -hmm. Because it's just, it's exciting to see that. And as, as I'm starting to, I think like, I'm, I'm sure you're doing the same thing where I'm starting to now kind of go in, refresh some different as, uh, abstracts and send them out for in-person events for next year exactly. and yeah, yeah, starting yeah. that process. Exactly. Yeah. The same. So, um, yeah, we've been back, um, online. So this year we do, for instance, the data Saturday in Slovenia, we do the last, hopefully the last year online. So that next year we do it in person, but otherwise a lot of events just started picking up in person and I'm totally up for it. You know, I just, yeah, this year I'm doing still two, I think, or three. Um, mm -hmm. but then the next year, yeah, SQL beats, stuff like that. So it's going to be, you know, super awesome to at least to hug people and, and to, to, to chat with them, to have, you know, go for a drink, yeah. coffee. It's, it's amazing. Yeah. 
I'm always amazed at how uh, how uh, um, often I see people and I'm just like, oh, it's been great. I haven't seen you. And they're like, <laughs> they're like, actually, we've never met in person. We've just just exactly. online that's through the right. web. And I'm like, that's right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was over in uh, in England in June for an event and there were a number of people that are just like oh yeah it's great to see you again it's like no actually it's the first time we've ever seen each other yeah exactly yeah, 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 yeah it, you, you tend to forget that but yeah, well so yeah. uh, so with ignite behind us anything that was kind of stood out to you jumped out anything that you're really excited about um so there was a couple of things for the sql server of course and and and, and data platforms so database stuff like that so everything being connected with the with the cloud and, and azure um, you know, new, let's say, SQL commands and functions. This is, you know, I'm super pumped and super hyped, to be honest. Um, in terms of machine learning, there were a couple of novelties um, for the Asian machine learning services um, and also Synapse, which is, again, you know, the, 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 the data platform stuff. Um, but yeah, I've only seen it online, so I haven't been there in person. So yeah, yeah. But, but this was, again, you know, I was pretty much hyped because of the SQL Server 2022. And that's yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's, it's uh, as I'm starting to, I mean, I, like, I, I read through like the, the the book of news that Microsoft produces yeah, yeah, around yeah, each exactly. of the shows and, yeah, 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 and go through. And I'll be honest, I mean, a lot of the Azure stuff and the announcements around it, I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm not really following a lot of it you know, very closely, except when it like around power platform or, or yeah, with, yeah. uh, you know, teams and SharePoint and exactly. OneDrive yeah, and Yammer, yeah. where there's yeah. things that impact that on the back end. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. but, uh, yeah. So if anybody is wondering kind of what we're talking about, if you just go search for book of news, Microsoft of Ignite news. Yeah, exactly. 2022, and you can see you can years see past and it's, it's yeah. like a collection yeah. of every press release and links to all of the yeah. formal blog posts and all things that out there. So it's a great way to kind of recap all the formal yeah. announcements. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, very cool. Well, so uh, for folks that want to find out more about you or get in touch with you, what are the best yeah. ways to reach you? Um, probably. Um, so I have a blog, which I usually write about, uh, you know, data analysis, um, data engineering, or Python, um, and um, also GitHub. Um, probably, yeah, I don't know. Probably those two would be most frequent, which I'm, you know, constantly updating. Also, Medium, yes, that's. Yeah, I'm looking at uh, your in your blog right now at the WordPress <laughs> blog, you know, writing about our, our functions. Super exciting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Super, yeah, yeah. Like, I'm gonna. I was just was thinking about it. I'm gonna point my son to this because, like, he nerds <laughs> out on this stuff. He's uh, he's the he just absorbs it. Uh, so I, yeah. I started a series of useless R functions just in a way to get people on board of learning you know, our language as it is. But then I found out with myself, every time I find or I start writing an article, which might be read a longer, you know, I have to think about it, test it, stuff, stuff like that. I found myself, <clears throat> sorry, writing these short blog posts of useless R functions. I don't know. It just suits me perfectly. You know, you're and, underselling it when you call it useless. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. But this was the intent, you know, this was the intent to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah, this is the way, you know, this, I've been writing it for the past two years. So this is how the series started. But yeah, I, I think at some point in time, I have to just drop it and say, well, forget it. <laughs> yeah. uh, well, I, I'm happy if it, you, you'll find the link over to Tomas's uh, uh, blog and everything over in the Buckley Planet blog, of course, on the YouTube description as well. So we'll point everybody to those resources. Tomas, it was great meeting you, and and hopefully, uh, are you going to do the collab summit in May over back in? I think it's in Dusseldorf again. Um, oh, that part I don't know. I think it was one was um, just it just happened um, in Frankfurt, I think. Um, right. Yeah. Uh, so that was month, the was that the Power October. Platform one? Probably yes. So yeah. last year they um, sort of merged it, the the Power Platform and SharePoint. So now. Probably next year they will sort of decouple it and and but yeah I'll definitely um, submit and and we'll see yeah yeah I know I just saw uh, Addis one of the organizers was just over oh, yeah. at an event last month and he's just an amazing him. person he's an yeah. amazing person yeah, yeah. he he's yeah. a good guy yeah yes. yeah it was definitely. great to hang out with him and and uh, and always, always fun to see Addis so well yeah yeah <laughs> Tomash really really great meeting you and hope to see you uh, next year at one of these events. Thanks for having me and yeah.